Once a year, we hear the siren song and head for the convention center in Las Vegas. It's the annual SEMA show, and Performance TV is doing due diligence by delving into the latest in automotive taste and technology. Welcome to this week's Performance TV. Now, Joe, this is going to be the first of two episodes from one of our favorite places. SEMA, miles and miles of cars and cool parts and pieces. I am so stoked. Yeah, the 51st year for this and people coming in from all over the world. Premier trade event with all kinds of seminars and awards banquets and so much more. And, you know, we get to see a lot of stuff that's all new, but we also get to see some really cool things that bring back blasts of the past. Everybody goes all out for SEMA. It's a walk down memory lane and it's a walk into the future. I can't wait. That's right. What do you say? Let's get to it. You know, one of my favorite stops at SEMA, of course, is going to be Borla Exhaust with a lot of exhaust and stuff in my background and what we work with at our shop at home. You know, I just can't believe what you guys have done and, and the history and where you have come to today, David Borla. Yeah, it really started with the need to attenuate sound on high horsepower applications. And my father came out with the multi-core patent, which we eventually evolved into the attack patent, which started uh, bringing out and amplifying certain frequencies while eliminating some others. And our newest this patent actually is based on organ pipe technology really? and what we're taking is numerous pipes of different diameters and lengths and tuning the exhaust note. Typically the uh, turbocharged applications don't sound so great because the turbochargers kind of chop up the sound and actually attenuate it similar to a muffler. So this technology allows us to kind of bring back some of those nooks and crannies. And we're actually offering different sound levels. So if somebody's looking for something with a little more bass, a little bit more low end to it, we can control the note that way. Sure. We'll have another application that has a little more mid-range or rasp to it. We can control the popping and crackling on deceleration. So it's been a lot of fun and we're really enjoying playing around with it. The greatest thing about all these technologies is that they don't hinder performance in any way. Absolutely. So you're still gonna get the maximum performance from your exhaust system with all these different possibilities for sound. Find out more about what Borla has to offer for your application. They're always changing, they're always growing. You can find it out at Borla.com. All right, Joe, what do you have for us next? At SEMA, sometimes it's the biggest, most intense, most exotic car, and sometimes it is the most minute of detail. This one caught my eye. We're in the booth of tire stickers with Keith Ferry. Keith is the co-founder. Keith such a detail but it makes a huge difference yeah absolutely it's all about personalization with tire stickers whether it's a short term or long term the short term it's a peel and stick it's an ink material really easy to apply we sell it to the tire companies for motorsports so it's quick and easy you can take it off nothing on the tire we also have the raised rubber permanent so that's going to last the lifetime of the tire again do it yourself it comes with a special adhesive apply it to the tire and within an hour you can drive away and it's going to last the lifetime You've got the licensed product names, but you can also do custom? That's right, that's right. We're excited to release a lot of brands this year. We have Ford as well as Dodge. A number of the tire companies are added to the list as well. We also added the Army brand, which is really exciting. So we're starting to do things a little different than just the tire brands. Who is the target for this product? It's everybody. Honestly, it's all about personalization, whether you're a car enthusiast looking to add a brand or sponsor to the vehicle, or if you're just an average consumer looking to support, again, the Army or personalize and advertise your business. It's for everybody. It's not just for the car guys. It's not just for the soccer mom. Whoever you are, you've got a product for you. Are these available in stores? That's right. We have them available in our store as well as distributors. We're excited to release our retail product packaging, so it's easy to customize, buy brands in stores, come into a store near you. A lot of the top automotive manufacturer retail distributors are going to be offering our products. So you can go in store, pick it up, apply it, have your car customized. Amazing product. Awesome. Thanks a lot. You know, SEMA is something that is not just the show that we see each and every year, but Chris, who is the president and CEO of the SEMA organization, you guys are doing stuff all year long. I mean, just really helping out the industry. That's right. The SEMA show is what we're best known for, 
But the other 360 days of the year when we're not here, we are an organization that has as its members all these companies. It's a business organization. Not only that, but you're working with a lot of the government folks as well and trying to help people too. You know, right now we have a really important issue pending in Congress. We have a bill, we call it the RPM Act. Many of your viewers have probably heard of this, but some maybe not. About a year and a half ago, the EPA decreed that it's illegal to convert a street vehicle to take it racing and to use these parts that make that modification happen. And after that, of course, the enthusiast world blew up and right. we have a bill pending and it's moving through. We're gonna need the help from all your enthusiasts out there. When we ring that action alert bell, we need you to let your legislator know, support the RPM Act, get it through. It will create an exemption forever that says it's legal to modify a streetcar to take it racing. All right, you heard about it right here, and we're gonna have so much more from the SEMA show on Performance TV right after this. Performance TV is being brought to you by rockauto.com, all the parts your car will ever need. AP Laser, leading the way. Ray 9, one product, nine uses. And by Clamp Tight, the clamp making tool. Welcome back to Performance TV, coming to you from the Las Vegas Convention Center. It's SEMA, baby. And what's SEMA all about? Innovation, really cool products. And that's what we're checking on here with sixwheeljeep.com. This thing is awesome. Thanks, thanks. This is something we, uh kind of came up with a lot of experience in manufacturing uh, specialty vehicles and this is right up our alley uh, six-wheel Jeep we've been around manufacturing since 99 the parent company has been making limousines since 99 if you know anything about limousines you've heard of our company pinnacle limousine manufacturing that's the parent company six-wheel Jeep is a division of it so what are the different options we can do you can start off vanilla and you know no rays no rims cosmetic stuff most of it comes standard because i have to do that when i cut it and stretch it out i'm gonna have to paint a lot of stuff the off wheel the off-road stuff the cosmetic lighting all that that's optional that's extras you don't need to really get it's mostly an urban vehicle you don't have to have a raise if you don't want this is pretty much cookie cutter for us how to do upholstery how to do nice trimming on the inside trying to make it look factory color wise i mean do we have different options uh yeah we can always change the color of the car Normally, there's two ways this works. One is the client brings in the vehicle, we do the conversion for them on their car. If they want a paint job at the time, they can do that. Or we can do the whole thing from start to finish. We get the car, we do the conversion, we sell it turnkey, and then we pick the color. Or if the client has a particular color they want, we go with that kind of chassis. How much time are we usually looking at for a typical build? Mm, a build will range anywhere between three to five weeks. Three weeks if it's kind of vanilla, about five weeks if you've got a lot of suspension work and you know other custom stuff. So if you want to find out more, it's real simple, sixwheeljeep.com. Hey Joe, there's lots of cool stuff. What have you found for us next? We've made our way over to the Hunter Engineering booth, which is just incredible. They have everything. We've got John Zentz. John, such a great place to demonstrate new equipment. Well, thanks, Joe. It's great to be here with you all at the SEMA show. We're really excited this year to introduce a really cool new feature of our Revolution Tire Changer called Walkaway. What are we going to see? What Walkaway does is it allows a technician to do tire changing and balancing concurrently because of autonomous operation of our tire changer. Autonomous. autonomous. So autonomous. what's that mean? Meaning it does it all by itself where the guy will actually walk away from the tire changer and the changer will continue to operate and do so all by itself without any human intervention. That sounds incredible. I can't wait to see it. Oh, it's really neat. It allows the technician really to be 25% faster in changing a set of four tires and balancing those wheels. 25% faster now because of that autonomous operation. So this is our Revolution Tire Changer with Walkaway. It has an integrated wheel lift. We'll go down and pick up the tire and wheel. Get it mounted up, simple center clamp here. And then all I have to do, the diameter's already locked in. We'll just lock in the location of our TPMS sensor here. Tell it we're ready. Activate walk away, and then I'm free to go balance a tire while it does this process. So it's gonna go in and break both beads, top and bottom rollers, while I'm over here doing other work for it. It'll make multiple rotations, breaking the beads, and then it'll bring the demount tool in. Constantly tracking that TPMS sensor, knows where it's at, keeping it in a safe position. 
So once it has the beads sufficiently broken, it will bring that tool head in, it has a hook that will go down. Meanwhile, I'm still over here balancing this tire and wheel. So it will go in and grab the bead, lift it up and over, demounting the top bead, keeping it hooked the whole time. Again, still tracking that TPMS sensor, keeping it safe, we can ride up over it, and it'll peel that tire off and leave it hanging there ready for a new one. And then I'll step in. The machine has a notification that lets me know it's ready for a new tire. And then all I have to do is set a new one up there, keep it on top, and the changer's gonna come in and press it on for me. So I'll let it do its thing, have a couple helper arms to place, and I step back and watch it do the top beat. Still tracking our TPMS sensor, keeping it safe so it doesn't hit it until the last point. And then all we have left to do is seat the beads. And meanwhile, I've finished balancing my other tire and wheel, and it's on to the next set. John, that was absolutely incredible. You got the name of the unit right, a revolution. I mean, it really helps a tire shop be more productive and more profitable, being able to do this job 25% faster with no damage to a tire or wheel. We're really, really excited about this. And Joe, we're so proud of the fact that everything that you just saw here was made in the United States. You know, absolutely one of the most things we're proud of at Hunter Engineering Company. Saving time and efficiency, that thing is perfect. John, thank you so much. You're welcome, Joe. Thank you so much. Great being with you. Enjoy the time. For more information, check out the website truly a revolution. When you come to the SEMA show, of course, you're gonna see lots of beautiful rides, but how do those rides get started? Or how does a builder get started into doing those rides? And there's so many great things that go on as part of SEMA, and that's why we have Tammy here. Yes, we're actually the Hot Rod Industry Alliance, also known as HRIA. And we are here to be the voice and the vehicle for all of the hot rodders out in today's society. Yeah. We also have open meetings, so at any time that people want to ask questions about certain parts, certain applications, certain rules, especially with the EPA going up right now, save our race cars, we are here to be that voice and help guide you through everything. You guys select X amount of cars every year that get to be displayed here at SEMO. Yes, we do, and that actual selection begins right after the show and goes through May. So Columbus show for NSRA, that's our drawing, and we only select 10. So if you want to get your car in, now's the time. What special criteria do you look for when you're selecting these cars? You know, it varies each year. We are always looking for something different and unique. We are passionate about anything that is a hot rod. So please come join us at SEMA.org backslash HRIA. Welcome back to Performance TV from the 2017 SEMA show. The whole point of SEMA is awesome cars, and we're here with renowned auto builder and designer, Ivan Tempe. And Ivan, you have got an amazing Corvette to tell us about. Uh, yes, uh, you know, we have a feature car right now that we're featuring here in SEMA. Something that we built, take about two and a half months to do, and a lot of blood and sweat. But now here we are, and we're exi excited to show everybody what we can do, you know? It is a standout. The carbon copper fiber touches are amazing. Uh, yes, we're excited about that. It just gives a crazy reflection of the copper, especially when it gets hit by a light or a sunlight, you know what I'm saying? Touches throughout the wing, the mirrors, all through the interior. It is just incredible, but I can't help but notice the body kit as well. Yeah, that's my signature. Um, wide body kits and body kits in particular are my forte. Been doing this for 25 years. Uh, design them and manufacture them. Now we're featuring this particular item we call the sick white body kit. Why sick? Because you know when somebody sees something nice, they say, oh, that's sick. So okay, let's make it the name of it. You know, sick it spells X-I-K. When I create something, basically I, I do a concept, not just it has to be bigger or, you know, more crazier. It has to flow, you know, it's like a Picasso. You know, like Picasso, for instance, you know, he has to go with the lines, he has to go with the color scheme. So as you can see, you can, once you start looking at the car, you'll see the, the concept I'm talking about. Ivan, the car is truly sick, amazing work of art. Let's check in with Kathy. 
When you think about your race team, you want to make sure that you look good. And all you have to do is start off with Advertising Edge. And Don Rowe, you guys have been doing sublimation for many, many years. But the coolest thing is it's all done in-house in the USA. Yes, we are a cut and sew manufacturer in the U.S. And all of our products are made here and designed here. You know, and if you don't have, say, maybe a logo or you just have kind of a concept, you guys can do that all in-house. Oh, yes. We have nine designers on staff that do nothing but design the apparel. Now, what about, you know, shirts? It, it's not just the button-up shirts. Do you have any other designs? Oh, yeah. We wear, like, the style I'm wearing, a button-up stand-up collar, a quarter zip. You can design pretty much anything you'd like. Since it's all made in our factory in the U.S., we have many, many options and fabric availabilities. It used to be in the old days, polyester was not a kind fabric to wear, but the new stuff is wicking, cooling, antimicrobial, so it's a wonderful fabric to wear especially in warm weather. Okay, so we think about the teams and the team looks good, but you guys can take that a step further if you want to have merchandise to sell, like even lady shirts. Oh yes, we can design a full product line for your brand or your team, no problem. If somebody wanted to find out maybe about some of the other things you do, like championship jackets, I mean, you guys just do all kinds of things. Yes, uh, we've done the NHRA championship jackets now for over 10 years, so we'd like to be feel we're part of the winners. Whether it's sublimation that you're looking for, something else for your team, even for your office staff, Advertising Edge has all that and more. But I tell you what, my most favorite thing is being the champion. And you can be one too, just by going to Advertising Edge. At SEMA, we're used to seeing unbelievable cars. This one has made its debut. It's a 64 Dodge Polara, built by the Roadster Shop for the one and only Jesse James. One word, mega. It has everything. Nose to tail, full treatment, but what really matters is under the hood. 360 cubic inches of Hemi, twin turbochargers, one of which counter rotating so perfectly symmetrical piping the thing is absolutely gorgeous what more would you expect from jesse james here at sema some things that we find in sema just ooze 1960s and that's definitely what we have here with this 1964 reactor which was originally built for the 15th annual hartford autorama and called the autorama special gene winfield the builder of the car bought this car back and it is such a cool piece with everything that it does from the remote controlled hood roof doors headlights, the Corvair engine that's in here. This is an all aluminum body, but what might be even neater is some of the television shows that this car appeared on. All of the stars wanted to be around this car. Star Trek, Batman, even Bewitched. Just some of the cool stuff you get to check out at SEMA. There's plenty more to see here at SEMA, and we'll have that coming up on Performance TV. Performance TV is being brought to you by Orla, the world's most winning exhaust. Gusher Pumps, manufacturers of quality pumps since 1913. Custom Auto Sound, the originator of classic car OEM fit radio since 1977. And by Evapo Rust, super safe rust remover. Welcome back to Performance TV at SEMA. So you have your dream ride all picked out, your car, your truck, you have the color picked out, you have the wheels and tires, you've got the engine combination, but now how are you going to wire that all up, especially for the newer engines that you're dropping in, older vehicles? We've got the solution for you, and that is hotwireauto.com. And Chris, you guys do all custom stuff. Yes, ma'am. All of our wire harnesses are built in-house. Uh, they're all built to order. When you call up and place an order, if you have special needs, we have no problems making that work for you. We can do extra lengths, we can relocate items, we provide great tech support. All of our harnesses that are being built are being teched by the same guys. Plus we've simplified the harnesses down to just a few wires to hook up. When you order a harness and you lay it on the motor, it's just going to lay into position, plug in, and then just a couple of wires to hook up. It's surprising people who are afraid of wiring have no problem getting these hooked up and running. And if they do, they call and talk to one of the guys building them. And of course, you know, when you come to SEMA, introducing new products, and that's exactly what you guys have done this year. Yeah, we're doing now, we have the new direct injected motors. The 5.3 is on the board behind me. And we also do the LT1s, and I'm pretty sure we're doing the LT4 as well. 
you've got the ignition here, you've got the key here, you're doing something totally different. It doesn't matter to you guys, just working with the customers. You can do it custom. Right, everything's custom. If you have it like a cab forward, we can relocate everything to come off the front of the motor and plug in under the dash. If you need the computer put in the trunk, we have no problem making that harness long enough to reach back there. Find out more, go to their website at hotwireauto.com. Here at the SEMA show, the goal is to get people into the booth. Sometimes it's an awesome car. Sometimes it's a bunch of awesome little cars, like these 132nd slot cars in the Hypertech booth. The race is on. They are battling, and it is spectacular. Everyone is having a great time. Check it out. It is awesome. Kathy, we got to get back to work. You know, when you're going out on the road and you run out of space, sometimes pretty quick in your vehicle, not anymore, thanks to Car Top Cargo and Mike, you've added to your line. Yeah, we've added a nine cubic foot from last year's 18 cubic foot. Uh, the nine cubic foot is really ideal for the smaller CUV vehicles, smaller roof lines, way easier to move around. A single person can do it versus needing two people for a larger cargo carrier. And I like the way that they open up. I mean, it gives you some different options. Yeah, the little brother, if you will, uh, opens from the side. It's really ideal for justifying it to the passenger side. Makes it way easier if you have a bike carrier or a kayak carrier, ideal for putting something else on the other side. What are these things made out of? It looks like they could, you know, be outside for all seasons. Yeah, they can. They're made out of a uh, polyethylene HDPE, really suited for all four seasons. So great in the winter, great in the summer, and everything in between. How do they attach? They attach with four U-bolts couple knobs and a base plate. They go to the four corners, attaches in five minutes. It's literally out of the box to on top of your car in five minutes. What about a warranty? Guaranteed for life, free from manufacturing and materials defects. All right, and they're going to clean up easy. They're going to look good. You're going to be able to have so much more storage and made in the USA. Cartopcargo.com. Well, I don't know about you, but we are just getting started with all of the cool stuff here at SEMA. We'll have so much more next week on Performance TV.